Right, today we're looking at surface tension of water. Uh, obviously, toothpicks float on the surface of water, and, and the reason they do, or the reason a water strider can walk across the surface of water, is that the molecules on the surface of water actually stick together. So what we're going to do real quickly is demonstrate how we can change the surface tension of water. So I've got four toothpicks floating on top of each other. And again, it's the stickiness of the water that is uh, holding them up. I'm going to take a toothpick over here, and I'm going to put a little of uh, that dishwashing soap on it, just a little. And when I put the dishwashing soap in contact with the water, something interesting takes place. So again, you got the toothpicks floating. We take the dip the toothpick that's got the soap in it, and quickly the molecules begin to push the sticks apart. The toothpicks seem to blow apart because we've reduced surface tension. Another illustration is of surface tension is to take something as lightweight as pepper, and I'm going to put the pepper into the bowl of water, and obviously the pepper is floating. It's floating on the top surface of the water because, again, the molecules of the water are sticking together. But I can take the soap, dip it into some soap solution. Again, it's just plain, ordinary dishwater liquid, dishwater soap. A little soap on it. When the soap touches the water, the surface tension will boop, cause the pepper to move away from the soap because it's destroyed the stickiness of the water molecule. That's why soap gets your hands clean. It makes your skin get wetter when it comes in contact with water. The water doesn't stick together. So what have we done? Reduced surface tension.